All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you three different cameras and three different loading styles. Now, this first camera is your most standard SLR. So uh, there's film in this right now, so I'm not gonna actually open this one, but it's pretty similar to the others. Over here, we have the actual, uh, the little winder, and this winder is used to rewind your film. But if I was to pull this up hard, then the back will open and we're gonna have a post over here where the film will go and we'll stretch our film across and lock it into place over here. It's very similar to this camera, which I'll show you in just a minute. And then we simply cock the shutter a few times to sort of pull the film and make sure it's nice and tight. And then we close it back up, push this back down, the whole, this whole structure. And by pull it up, I mean like you literally pull this, this uh, whole silver part up. Um, and then we set our ISO, so I'm at 800 right now, but if I was using, so this is a program camera, which means that it has like batteries in the sensor, but I can change it by pushing down this little button right here, moving it. So let's say we're shooting at 400, move it back to 800 so I don't forget. Um, it'll then meter at 800 whenever it's on the auto mode. But again, like most cameras aren't auto, so that's fine then you just simply shoot whenever you reach the end. So if I'm shooting 36 shots and this reaches 36, right now I have 11 pictures taken on this camera. Then uh, it's simply, I flip it over. This little black button is the release. I press the release, it releases my film. And then I flip this up and I wind it in the direction that this arrow is pointing. So I just start winding and winding and winding and winding and I'll feel it release off of this and wind up into the film. Once it's completely wound up, I can open it up and I'll have my canister with my sealed film. So that's the first camera. Again, this is just a typical SLR. This is an auto loader. So if you have a more, uh, a newer camera, uh, this, uh, this does not have film in it. I just wanna make sure, uh, this does have film in it. So I'm also not gonna open up this one. Uh, it's got 14 pictures. So this is the simplest kind of loader and I definitely recommend getting these for beginners. They're also cheap cameras. You simply put the film here, you stretch it across, there's a little orange mark that you leave it at and then you close the camera, you turn it on and whenever you turn it on, it loads the film and it even counts how many pictures you have and you're good to go. It's the simplest by far. Whenever you reach the end of your film, it'll rewind the entire thing and you'll have your canister good to go. So it does everything for you. That's that's the joys of buying one of these and getting batteries in it. This is an older style rangefinder. So a rangefinder camera is a little different than a SLR. An SLR has a mirror in the bottom right here, and a rangefinder just has this eyepiece where you're looking straight through this mechanism. A lot of the old Leicas are this style. So with this one on the bottom, I have two hinges that I simply loosen. Sorry if you can hear my cat yelling. So I'm gonna loosen both of those, hinges up, and then this whole back just pops right off. But this mechanism is very similar to the SLR actually. So film goes over here, we stretch it across, and then there's a little sliver, see these little slivers? So the film stretches across, the little holes on the film fit into the sprockets, built onto the sprocket wheel, and then the film actually sits in here, Again, we cock the shutter a few times just to move it. And if you see, if I cock the shutter here, you'll actually see it moves the whole thing. Take a picture, cock it again. And I do that a couple times just to make sure the film is nice and tight on there. Take a picture, done. Then I put the back back on tighten it and we're good to go. So pretty much all, all three of these are the same. Um, if you have a Holga or something like that, it's, it's really similar to this. Um, and again, I would highly recommend you look up your specific camera model. So this is a Canon AE-1 program. This is a Canon Rebel G. And this, uh, this is a Russian camera. Uh, if you can read Cyrillic, like that's a Fed 5B. That's what this is. Uh, this is a Russian, Olympic camera actually. So it's from uh, the year that they hosted the Olympics. Anyways, so those are three different film cameras and how to load them.